It's an exciting day. It's bumping day, which means Breakwater Bay is heading to Bricksboat 2024. I'm pumped and all decked out with my Henry's Bricks cap and light my brick socks. I'll be sharing a little bit of the behind the scenes action along with some of the amazing exhibits on display. So let's get this show on the road. I spent a few hours yesterday cleaning and pre-packing. The largest trees have been removed and packed separately with bubble wrap to prevent them falling off on the journey. Some of the large building structures have been put into boxes, that way if anything falls off, it will keep contained in that box and I'll know exactly what set it goes with. Some modular buildings and the treehouse will be loaded straight in. These are just too tricky to get in and out of boxes at the other end. Now it's time to load up and head to the city, which is about an hour's drive. Setting up took about three hours. The tables were a little uneven, so the biggest challenge was getting it level to get the train running. The ABC News crew attended the event and included Breakwater Bay in their TV news story, which went to air during the weekend, which was super cool. With the doors to the public about to open and located right at the entrance, Breakwater Bay attracted a lot of attention and it was awesome hearing all the reactions and how people really enjoyed talking with me about it and asking lots of questions throughout the event. Everyone was just so impressed and so kind, it was a real buzz. Also, a big shout out goes to PM Bricks and Brick Envy who travelled from interstate to visit Bricksbo. They stayed all day really soaking it all in and I actually filmed them placing their sig figs into my display. I'm so impressed and inspired by all of the exhibitors, those who shared the love or placed a token at my build. Some were sneaky so I don't even know who they were. To everyone of the 8,340 visitors, which was a sellout, your support for this event was incredible. There was just so much to see and I couldn't capture it all, so here's a small snippet of what was on at Bricksbow 2024.
Two hours of dismantling, loading back into vans, farewells to new friends, and the venue was almost empty again. Brixbow 2024 comes to a close. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment on what area of the city you would like me to work on next. And until then, see you soon.